Dear viewers, welcome back to Yoleno TV. If you are a first time viewer, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel. Give us a like. And if you're a subscriber, please take a time, give us a thumbs up. By that, YouTube gets to increase our experience on the YouTube platform. Now, tonight we'd like to discuss about Kalonzo Msioka. Now, we understand that Kalonzo Msioka is on a 10-day uh, rest from active politics. Immediately after unveiling his uh, running mate, that was the day uh, Raila Mwalo Odinga unveiled Martha Karua, Kalonzo Msioka said that he was going to be on a 10-day rest. Or probably these 10 days was to give him a chance to you know think about his future in politics because we understand that Kalozo Msioka could be a cornered man you know he is a wiper candidate but we all know that wiper is still a constituent party of Azimio and according to the constitution that he signed himself it says and I quote it says that you can only leave that you can only leave Azimio after the election you know or oh, six months before the election we know the time that is left is almost two months about two to two to two and a half months you know so it's not possible for Kalonzo Msioka to bolt out the party can't uh, part ways with Azimio at the moment the similar crisis is a similar crisis of power and you know uh, my little chap chap but let's talk about Kalonzo Msioka factor Kalonzo Msioka said on uh, Monday when he was actually unveiling his running mate, he said that he's, go he's going straight to the ballot with a wiper ticket. But it's apparent that that's not going to be possible because of the only reason that wiper is still part of Azimio until elections. Now, if we talk about him going under Oka, but then the question that we'd like to ask ourselves, who are the members of Oka? Because from what you understand, Gideon Moy made it very clear today that he is fully in Azimio. Jirongo has also made it clear that he's in Azimio. Martha Karua was part of Oka, but he's a kind of running mate for Azimio. Moses Wetangula walked out and joined Kenya Kwanza. Mudavari did the same, walked out and joined Kenya Kwanza. Now, we have David Ocheng, but he's also declared a support for Azimio. Now, who are the constituent parties of Kenya, or of actually Oka at the moment? It's only Waipa. So, I think Kalonzo Msioka is a cornered man. We could say use that term, because if you look at Ukambani, I think uh, Ukambani residents are almost tired of his, you know, uh, always shifting goals, goalposts, you know, not being clear, not having an agenda. You know, these things are actually not sitting well with the Ukambani citizens. As of now, we understand that Ngilu and Musila buried the hatchet. Now they're not enemies anymore. I think the biggest reason why they had to bury the hatchet and work together is because of Azimio. If you look at a scenario where by now, uh, all the previous Kamba leaders are coming together for unity and Kalonzo Msioka is aside, then I think that might kill Kalonzo's political ambitions, especially in Ukambani. He might lose focus. And when he loses focus, the people will actually opt for another leader because I don't think Kambas will be ready for a leader who, who is not straightforward. Someone who who fits very well in that tag of a watermelon. We don't want to have a scenario where by now your people, your followers are not satisfied with you, your leadership. So Kalosa Psyoka took a 10-day rest, probably to focus, to actually look at his political journey, see where he can actually fit. We know very well that the only place he fits, the only house which can accommodate him for now is Azimio. We know Kenya Kwanza is almost full. There is a running mate. There's a chief chief uh, minister uh, that is as uh, was actually assured to Mdavadi. 
we know that the Senate Speaker for Parliament is assured to uh, Wetangula. The only part that I think left is the Senate Speaker, but that also is assured to uh, my little chap chap, Alfred Mtua. Now, the Kenya Kwanzaa's house is almost full. In fact, we could say it's full. That the only post that can be assured to Kalonzo is a ministerial post, post ambassadorial post, or maybe a government spokesperson. I mean, surely, that's it, you know. If I were Kalonzo Msioka, if, he were, if I were one of those advisors of Kalonzo Msioka, I would advise Kalonzo Msioka that the only place you can go at the moment is Azimio before it's too late because you know even the Azimio leaders are almost tired of this man Kalonzo Msioka who does not have a proper direction Kalonzo Msioka you know is 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 a true watermelon because why 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 would you be as you know, as a leader why would you be shifting from one party to another going back to that other party you know you you within a span of three months you've been you know you've jumped through it's not possible, really. It's not really possible. So Kalonzo Msioka should take his time, think wisely, make wise decisions, and not be, you know, not be guided by the likes of Dan Manzo. Eh? Kalonzo Jr. These are people who are misleading Kalonzo Msioka. And at the end of the day, Kalonzo Msioka will be dead politically. In fact, in Ukambani, I think I read somewhere, Someone, someone was saying that the young politicians in Ukambani are barring Kalonzo Msioka politically and preparing their own political journeys to wrestle Ukambani. I think that could be the reason why they are doing whatever they are doing. So Kalonzo Msioka should, should actually reflect and know very well that he cannot go it alone. Okay, they were threatening, Dan Manzo was threatening to go to court, but as, as at now, Dan Mazo has not gone to court. So where does that leave, leave uh, Kalonzo Msioka? Kalonzo Msioka is left with nowhere to run. I think he's a man, we could say, is a man with nowhere to go. My advice to Kalonzo Msioka, please, reflect wisely. Go back to Azimio. It is the only place safe for you at the moment. I'm talking to you, Kalonzo Msioka, directly. Avoid being misguided by the likes of Mutula Kalonzo Jr., by the likes of Dan Manzo. Embrace wisdom in your judgments. Embrace wisdom and know that you still have a long way to go. You still need future voters. From Raila Molo Odinga. So Raila Molo Odinga gave you a post, chief minister post. But the only problem with Kalonzo Msioka, he seems to be too selfish in that he wants so much to be allocated to him and not the community, the Kamba community. We would have been happy if Kalonzo Msioka came clear and said, I want an airport to be built in Kitui. I mean, that would have made sense. But you see, he's saying, he's talking about his own personal benefit. He's saying that if I'm to get that chief minister post, first of all, let us put it in writing and have a security of tenor. Okay, fine, that's number one. Number two, what Kalonzo is saying is that if I'm to accept that position, then I should be given more bodyguards. That's number two. Number three, if I'm to accept that position, then my office should be next to Arambe House. Number four, if I'm to accept that position, then I should be, get, be given a bigger house, residen a residential house, since I'm a chief minister. You know, all these things are not making sense. Kalozo Msioka should reflect and know that it's all about the people and it's not your own personal benefits. Because that only makes you a selfish politician. Now, dear viewers, while we wait for the 10 days of Kalonzo Msioka, let us wait for his next political cause. As at now, we are aware that he's doing a lot of farming, you know, trying to forget about, you know, the pressure, all the, all the, all the confusions and the like. 
so that he can get his political journey on a straight path. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, please, I'd like to leave you those few remarks. Take care.